Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. Sell-off continues. Let's take a look at all the Bitcoin series right now. Check in also in the daily chart right now. This four-hour chart, you see we're against the rotation zone. Went to the 50% level, back to the rotation zone, selling off. Did not hold at the 625, which we also had a GAN cluster there from this high on the 20th. Back to the low on the 21st, which gave us this cluster area around the 1630 area. Now we're trading at the bottom end, 1577 of that projection. If this area does not hold, and this is just a minor area, we're then watching for 1534, then 1438. And at some point, if we do pause and pull back, then you can do another projection to those lows and help fine tune it with the new GAN levels. But that's where it looks. If you're doing any purchasing, remember, raise your stop right when it hits the rotation zone right now, the overhead resistance. This is prior support. So we had supports, support, support. Now it's resistance and we have the declining rotation zone and the 50% GAN level at the 1726 level. If we do rally through that, the next major area to watch for is about 1786 to 1800. Looking at the daily chart, See, we couldn't get up. We caught on the rotation zone and the 50-day exponential now moving back down. And right now, if we were to close here, this would be the lowest close since, you know, back in uh, the 13th of December. So keep that in mind. We are still, this is now be very patient. It tried to recover, hit the rotation zone on a daily, now selling off again. Can it go to below 1343? Yes, it can. We just have to see at these levels if we get any high probability reversal patterns. Otherwise, we're just stepping aside and letting it pull back. Switching over to Bitcoin gold. Bitcoin gold triggered this double top with this key close uh, right around the 200 mark, 205 mark. Already hit the first level, 189, bounced back to rotation zone, and now approaching the next key area, which comes at about 180 to 181. We have a three-way cluster there. We have the projection from the highs on the 19th to the most recent lows on the 21st, the 12 and a half and 25% level. We have a retracement level, the 62.5, which we've talked about repeatedly, and we have the one of the targets from the double top. 180 so that's going to be a major level if that level does not hold then we'll be watching for the 170 190 to 172 area again rotation zone against us so any rally up the first major level right in the middle of the rotation zone is now around this 200 to 205 let's check in on the daily chart for bitcoin gold See, we also rallied up rotation zone, now heading back down we're going to be watching to see if we get a close below this 180 level because that would be a close that we haven't seen since right around you know the uh 18th of october time frame so that would be uh sort of negative and the most recent close from the sell-off we didn't close this low so we'll be watching again for that finally over to bitcoin you see coming down to this 50 percent level rallying back up to the rotation zone and now heading lower, we can also do our GAN projections down. Next level, 10,764. And then this, we don't have a very strong cluster. That 62.5 level is going to be key, that 10,650. But we could find support all the way down to 10,514. If we do pause here again and rotate back up, make sure you update your GAN levels to see if we can fine-tune this cluster area. If none of that holds, the next major area would be about 10,177. And then the 10,000 mark with 9995 key GAN level, but we'd be looking at the 10,000 mark. That's where a lot of buyers stepped in before. So keep those levels also. You can watch, I don't know why it disappeared, but the 87.5% retracement from the lows on the 17th of January up to the highs on the 20th. That's going to give another level. What you're going to want to do, though, to help fine tune these levels, because this is another clear path move. Keep doing your GAN projections down and help fine tune and find your clusters. Now, if we do rally, this is a minor support level that's now going to be resistance with the declining eight. So that's around 11,431. And then the upper end of the rotation zones coming in around 11,689. But we'll be really focused on this 11,600 level. Let's check in on the daily chart for Bitcoin. All right, here's the daily chart. You see, again, rotating up into the rotation zone. Rotation Couldn't get through the rotation zone, collapsing back down. 
right now the lowest close around here was back on the 18th which was 11,030 so we're going to be seeing if we get a new close below that level because that would be again continued bearish and on a stronger rally you have the eight on the daily coming in about this 11,900 so if we did rally back that's going to be very key resistance at this point just like the other ones we're standing aside waiting for it to hot perform a high probability buy signal at a key level or clusters we're just letting this sell off we're not worried about missing any moves you know we just gotta wait and be very patient and see where this goes because again it rallied in the rotation zone now the key level is this 10,650 from this last run-up we really don't want to see a close below that because that would then mean we'll be continuing to look for lower prices that's what we have for you on bitcoin cash bitcoin gold and bitcoin we'll do more updates later today thank you for watching thanks for all the subscribers and the comments and good luck trading the cryptos